think I'm live right now. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys and gals? Archetype here, coming at you with another live stream. I hope that I'm live. Uh, some glitches, some glitches going on. Yep, I'm live right now. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, I just skipped the intro, so we're just going to hop into it right away. Uh, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, morning, or evening, wherever you're watching this worldwide. Smash the like on your way in. It's going to help us grow our community. It's also going to help us grow our channel. Um, I'm going to talk about the markets right now before we hop into the uh, Q and A's and stuff like that. So Caspa is, uh, is coming in at, what, let me show you this. Caspa is coming in right now at 1183, uh, looking decent, you know, it's looking, it's holding up pretty good. I was actually expecting it to be in the 10 cent range at the moment, but we're looking pretty good right now with Caspa. So, um, again, the whole entire market's been dumping the last three days after a nice little run up last week, two weeks ago, and the last four months. This is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So if you're expecting to get absolutely super, super stinking rich in the next month, hold your horses a little bit, okay? Nobody said it was gonna be easy to create generational wealth in two weeks, all right? So I know that a lot of people are just getting into crypto right now, all right? So if you're a new person here, it's gonna take you like a year, all right? You're gonna accumulate all throughout this entire year of 2024, the blow off top year, meaning when Bitcoin is over $100,000 and all these altcoin bags are making us super, super rich, it's gonna be in a year. Why? Because historically speaking, all right, it's always every four years, the top. We are at the halving, okay? The halving is when the rewards get cut in half, making a supply shock for Bitcoin, okay? That's happening in two days from now, I believe. So yeah, two days exactly from now. We are so, so, so early in this cycle. If you're getting fearful from your portfolio dipping a little bit, like 10%, 20%, this is nothing, okay? Like you did not have to go through the entire bear market. You're coming in in the markup phase. Now we're not in the distribution phase yet of this cycle. The distribution phase is when everyone's taking profits. The market phase is when we're in upward trend. Okay, we're going up into the right. And there's gonna be some dips here and there. That's the reality. It's a bumpy road. It's not gonna be all sunshine and rainbows, okay? Even in the last few months here, okay? If you look at, you know, January all the way up until now, it's been a really, really nice roller coaster upwards, okay? But eventually this roller coaster is gonna come down a little bit, okay? It's natural. It's not gonna come all the way back down here to when we were in October, obviously. There's way too many people that would buy up Bitcoin. Look at that October, $23,000, $27,000 right there. And it ran up all the way. So again, you don't have to be super, super fearful, but we're not going to go straight to 100K right away. Blast off. We're going to go through a couple little events here. There's some war FUD going on. There's also tax season. People are taking profits to pay off the tax man. The governments are asking for their cuts, all right? And I wish it wasn't like that, but that's just the reality of this world, okay? You gotta pay your taxes, um, and that is financial advice. Pay your taxes, 100%. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna hop into it. We're gonna talk about a few plays here. Smash the like on your way in. It helps us get as many people watching as possible. Also, if I'm talking about the cryptocurrencies that you're investing in, it's bullish. It's just good. So, um, yeah, so Bitcoin's coming at 63.8, looking pretty good. A lot of people are expecting this to dump below 60. It's held very, very strong. I'm expecting it to go back up to new all-time highs pretty soon here. We're gonna bounce, all right? So we're gonna go up until probably, we might even dip, you know, below below 80, um, below below 60, below 62, and then we'll go up to, uh, to 80. So we'll see. I think we're gonna do a nice little bounce up, all right? So, all right, we're going to, uh, I just want to check, is my is my mic on? Let me see if my mic is on. Let me see if my mic's on. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second. My, I think my music is a little bit too loud, so I'm going to make the music a little bit less loud. There we go. Let me know if the music is, is good now. I think, I was checking the audio levels. It looks like it should be a little better now. Um, all right, cool. So Bitcoin's coming at 63. Nice. Are you guys accumulating altcoins right now or are you staying on the sidelines? Let me know in the chats. I'm going to read it pretty soon. I am DCAing into every single position. Okay. Like I'm going to wait for a few others until I, I'm going to put in a few more buy alerts tonight, but I also understand this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The music is too loud. I just, I just put it down. So let me know in the chat if I, uh, if it fixed it a little bit. Um, I am going to be stacking altcoins 
if it's at $63,000 for Bitcoin or if it's at $50,000 for Bitcoin. I really do not care. I rather have more crypto than Canadian dollars. And that's just me, all right? Now, eventually, this is a risk on asset class, right? People are still taking profits away from here because they're feeling inflation. It's still at 3.5%, all right? So essentially, because everything is super expensive out there, they're gonna be pulling profits from the crypto or not even profits, but just capital away from cryptocurrency. Eventually, they're gonna flood into crypto as a safe haven because there's a store of value prospect over here. There's a maximum supply, all right? But we're not there yet. The majority of the population is not even exposed to, they don't even know how to start a wallet, all right? And I'm sure some of you watching right now are pretty new to crypto as well, so welcome. Uh, this is gonna be a wild, bumpy ride throughout the entire year here, but overall, it's gonna be up and to the right. We we try to make as many gains as possible every single month, obviously, in the membership. You know, we have what? We did a 600% gain on Tuker this month. We did 100% gain on Jowns. And then on math, we did another 100%. And then, um, and then yeah. And then the new one that dropped yesterday, it's kind of just going sideways. I and mean, that's a, just going to take a few months for that to, to really start popping off. But that's the thing, right? Nobody has a crystal ball, right? Y you can't just expect, oh, I get into a new play. I'm going to rotate my capital from these cryptocurrencies to get into this new one. And then it's going to pump 10x. That's not how this works, okay? I recommend this you guys can do whatever you want to do but i know the majority of stoic investors that we have in the group though what they do is and what i do is we start getting into these cryptocurrencies we get in low we hold our positions for months and years and we sell at a higher price instead of just quick flip-flopping in and out of plays where you're going to be causing a lot of tax events as well and Let's say you get into you, you got out of Casper because it was a slow moving vehicle. It's a slow moving vehicle right now. Let's be honest, guys. It's super boring, right? It's just doing the same exact thing that I did in November all the way to like March here, okay? Um, all the way to February, and then it pumped up to a new all time high right there. It's it's the same exact story going on, okay? It's boring. You get out of that, then you go into another riskier play. Guess what? What that riskier play starts consolidating, going downwards, and then you're now you're chasing your tail, and now you don't have any more Casper. Okay, so the best thing to do is this. A lot of people said, I don't have any more dry powder arc. What do I do? Like, it's like, well, the same thing that you've been doing the last few months or a few years with your income after you've paid your bills, of course, you don't take your grocery money for your family and you put that into crypto. Make sure that's all covered first, all right? And this is just common sense. You, you make sure that all that is paid first and then you have a, an emergency reserve. Then you can dabble in crypto with it, with discretionary income that you're willing to lose then you're never going to have to stress about you know if it if it dips in the short term because you have a long-term outlook with these investments what our group is doing okay is we're guiding people on their crypto journeys we're educating people as well and we're also feeding plays right we're, we're trying to get into some altcoins to make some cash short-term cash and also just long-term cash so it's gonna be good um let me just uh check the charts as well uh, i want to go check out the fear and greed index coming in at 60. nice so 60 is pretty low on the charts right now i think this needs to dip a little bit lower for us to really feel comfortable buying because i want this to be as low as possible when it's high the risk is 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 a, is, is a lot because people are very greedy right they think it's going to keep going up and up and up and up where that was like, you know, a couple weeks ago, it was like dark green here. That needs to be more in the middle here. And the more yellow it is, the more it's like, okay, it's kind of like a good environment to, to DCA into. It's still good to DCA in the market phase and, and the accumulation phase when it's dark green. But wait, one second, let me just check my audio. My level is off. Um, one second, let me just make sure that my music's even lower. There we go. I hope that that works out now. I hope that the music is good. Let me just do this as well on this one. Okay, yeah, I think we're I think we're good now. We're good. Um, let me know the chat. Okay, let me check the chat out. Okay. I wanna check the chat real quick. I haven't been live in a few days, so my levels might be off a little bit here. 
Crypto Cop, what's up, Ark? Hit those likes. Absolutely smash the like. Let's try to hit a record tonight. Let's try to hit a record. I, I see this a lot. A lot of people love watching crypto videos when the green candles are up, but the people that really do understand research and they're getting in these lows are actually the winners in this space. Only maybe 1% to 10% of people make money in cryptocurrency, right? The vast majority of people don't make money, all right? That's just the reality. Armzilla, let's go, brother. I got the gym shark on today, hit the gym. I'm gonna hit another gym workout tonight. I'm gonna do two. Steven, good to see you, brother. This is where you want to join. This is the link. It's the pinned link. If you want to join the alpha community, the best in the space right now, definitely go smash that link. Um, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be closing off the, uh, the lifetime option pretty soon here, uh, because we already have a lot of lifetime members and I do one portfolio review every single month. So I think for, for all of them, so I think I'm going to be closing off the lifetime soon. We'll just do the monthly and maybe I'll come out with the yearly option, but we'll just do monthly pretty soon here. Mexitexi. Hello. That's a funny name. Uh, what's up from Texas? Let's get some money. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, let me know in the chat. Um, if the, um, low audio, low audio arc. Okay. Yeah. Let me just do something real quick. Let me just do something real quick. microphone switch i'm gonna switch the device here okay can you guys let me know if you guys can hear me now and uh if it's better if it's not better i'm gonna switch to another device here Um, okay. I'm just going to wait. Testing, testing, testing. Somebody say it in the chat. Hold on a second. Uh, somebody say if my mic is good. Can you guys hear me? I think my chat's delayed, so I'm just going to wait. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Tanya. All right. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, all right. So yeah. Fear and greed is at 60. It's looking pretty good, right? So you don't want that to be in the nineties or eighties. Cause that's scary when it's up there. It, it's, it's, it's bound to crash. All right. People are going to take profits on you. 100%. Um, I want to just check out Tuker if it comes up. Um, I've been having trouble with this lately. Hold on a second. Let me go this. Yeah. Dex tools is just not working today. It's weird. All right. We'll, uh, we'll skip that. We'll just go on to uh, CoinGecko right here. I want to see. I think the biggest winner for this month is Tuker. Yep. It is 6.7. So we got in at, uh, at uh, 0 0.012. And now it's at 6.7. So that's pretty good. That's decent for this month. Um, also, we have Math that is doing pretty decent. So we have Math Wallet. And then... Uh, I saw somebody said, uh, be honest, what's your biggest loser? Of course, I'll, I'll get into that. Um, I'll get into that uh, right now. So, uh, Steven, good to see you, bro. Let's go. Buying opportunities everywhere, having less than 450 blocks away. We're getting super close, guys. Harmony, good to see you. Hey, Ark, hope all is well with you and accumulating your fave crypto. I am, man. I'm, I'm, I'm DCAing into my cryptos right now. I'm feeling really good about it. Good to see you, Pete. Um, live and well. Nice. All right. So um, let's go back to, okay, uh, to the moon. Patience is key. Stack and don't look back until year four. Way less stressful. Beautiful. Absolutely, man. Uh, 100%. To the moon is 100% is right here. Do not, do not, do not have a short-term mindset on cryptocurrency, okay? Hold those positions strong. Don't paper hand. The paper hands, they don't ever get rich, guys. They really don't. Um, good to see you, Tanya. Buckwheat. Okay, thanks, Ash. Uh, hey, Ark. Fr hello from America. 
Problem, I'm the only Japanese in this live. That's an interesting comment. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not, by the way. I'm, I'm Italian, but um, some people think uh, think I am, but uh, no, I'm, I'm Italian. Uh, Brad, good to see you. By the way, speaking of Japanese food, I went to a sushi place um, last night, and it was really good. Really, really good. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite foods. Brad, good to see you, brother. Silver, nice. We got all the mods up in here tonight. I love it. Love it. Yeah, I wasn't too too active today. I've been, dude. I've been running around uh, doing a lot of stuff today. Um, we are designing our website too, which is going to be really cool when that comes out. I'm going to feature all of those member wins on there. If you guys want to be featured on the community website, it's going to be awesome. What's your biggest loser right now? Be honest. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Man, the biggest loser right now. Let me let me see. Let me check out my portfolio real quick. I'm not gonna show this on screen, but I wanna I wanna check out my um my numbers. Let me, let me, let me check out this. Uh, I would say this, I would say heroes of Mavia right now. Heroes of Mavia is the biggest loser in my portfolio right now. But again, the, th the same thing is with heroes of Mavia is like, it's a gaming coin. All of the gaming sector has followed exactly each other. Like it's all down. So it's really not a hot one uh, at the moment. But I think that gaming is going to come back, but it's not one of my favorite narratives by any stretch of the imagination, right? Like the only reason why I'm holding Mavia is because it's kind of a low supply and I feel like it's a good gaming project and it's very, very uh, new. So it just came out in February and they're already like a top gaming app on the app store. Basically, it's a clash of clans of crypto, 250 million supply. So if this goes this, this has the potential to reach hundred dollars a cycle. It really does. It's going to have a big fully diluted valuation for sure, but people will pay that price for, for Mavia trust in 2025. They, they will. So I'm just holding this, right? I'm not going to sell this in a loss. Uh, there's no way. And also why would Scrice studios? Okay. The creators of Mavia just give up on the project. They're, they're balling out. Okay. Scry studios is one of the upcoming studios that is really doing stuff in the gaming space. I'm very, very bullish on them and uh, they're going to keep coming out with more games, but they're continuing to develop Mavia. So I think Mavia is the biggest L right now. And that would be, uh, that's down 50% essentially. So that's not that bad though, because at a certain point it was up 50%, it went to $10 and then now it's basically, uh, down 50%. So. But again, though, crypto, all this is 2025. You have to think long term with this. It can't just be, oh, I want to double up my money every single time. You know, I had a, uh, a DM going on with somebody today. OK, and uh, basically they're they're They had the mindset of expecting, you know, every single play essentially to be like a, a, a four or five X every single time. It's like, what? What are you talking about? Like. You know, first off, we did pretty good this month already, knowing that the whole entire market has dipped. Okay. We did a six X on Tuker. We did a double up on Jones and we did a double up on math. That's pretty good. Like performing against the rest of the market right now. That's decent. Now, yes, the rest of my portfolio, the, the ones that I've been DCing over a year, uh, you know, Solana, Caspa, things like that. Of course, like t this month right here is a red month, like for sure, Th there's no doubt. Um, but everybody in crypto is like that, right? If I go show you crypto bubbles real quick, right? And we go on the week, you know, everything is red. So, you know, it makes sense. Like you're not gonna be the outlier in the entire crypto space, believe me. Like every single person's portfolio right now over the past 10 days is most likely down, okay? It doesn't matter if you have a crystal ball or not, unless, unless you had Suku, for example, which is, it's only 22 cents essentially. So it's actually, it's actually down from last week from 28 cents, but it's starting to go back up right now. So it looks decent. This looks like a decent one. I already said this too, that it looked like a, like a good one, but 
everything else is down the market right now. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely rough right now, but 63,000 for Bitcoin. If this pumps up back to 70, watch all the altcoins rip even harder than Bitcoin. That's what's going to happen. They always go, they're always more uh, volatile. Based AI is a great entry right now. I 100% agree with you. Based AI is cheap. $7.55 for something that has 36 million circulating. Insane. So yeah, go check out Based AI, guys. This is a good project. I have quite a bit of Based AI. Made it to the live stream. Red Big Town. Good to see you, brother. Earl, Ark the man, uh, Ark my man, uh, the best community ever. Thanks again for all the solid picks. I'm almost at 500k in profits. LFG, bro, dude, what? That is so insane, man. I'm, I'm. That makes me super, super happy, bro. Like, 500 thousand dollars in profits is, I mean, like, dude, you're, you're, you're half a million dollars, man. Like, congratulations. Um, really, like that. That's, that's amazing. I'm also just gonna make this a little smaller here. So everybody can see this that that's so that's so cool man congratulations brother i really do like um seeing the member wins and if you're a brand new member it's going to take a little bit of time right you know you have to wait for the crypto market to start going up and some of these picks to start maturing and, and growing but the ones that i picked though i mean i'm we've been we've been doing pretty good lately um yeah, so Ondo is one that I have my eye on too as a big cap, but I'm not sure if I'm going to establish a position in this, but I think this is a really good RWA project. Solid, solid uh, project right now. I'm also just going to... Um, I want to flip my camera here because it's backwards. Transform, do a horizontal flip. There we go. Technical. During the dip, uh, picked up some Aero Solana Caspa. Beautiful, excited. Not gonna lie, too many people too fearful. 100%, Christian. Well said. You know, Chris, uh, you sound like you've been here for for a while. Just by saying that, you know, I don't know if you're brand new to crypto, but if you are brand new, you're on the you're on the right mindset, right? It's it's just about being patient. People are so like, they expect to be a, a millionaire tomorrow. Guys, this takes a little bit of time. You're planting the seeds right now so they can turn into massive oak trees down the line, okay? And I get it, like, and if you, like, let's say you don't have any dry powder left because I saw this comment on my last video and it's like, then you need to get, get a, you need to get a job, all right? If you don't have dry powder, that means that you don't have an income coming in. You have to have an income to play in the crypto casino. That's just what this is. So. Um, you know, I don't really understand that comment of like being like, I'm all out of dry powder, like short term. Sure. Like I understand that. Like you deployed all your dry powder. I understand that. But to say like, you're never going to have more dry powder. So you're never going to work again. Like you're never going to have another paycheck coming in. You have to put your blood, sweat and tears into this. You can't just expect to work three months, deploy all that in crypto and then become a millionaire. You have to DCA and make these positions substantial, right? You know, no one's really, no one here is really expecting to become a millionaire off of $100. All right. People know you have to also put some skin in the game. If you want to, if you want to make it big, you got to put some skin in the game. So sounds like you're on the right path, bro. Keep it up. Keep buying these solid cryptos when they're on discounts because people are selling them right now for cheap. People are liquidating their Solana to the smart buyers. It's going from the paper hands to the actual diamond hand people. And I mean, getting a $136 Solana is just blessed. Absolutely blessed right now. This cycle is gonna be so freaking big because this is so healthy. Like this, this really reassures really me that the four year cycle is on track still because we were due for a pullback. Very, very, very much due. And this is such a good breather for the crypto space right now. Very, very healthy. We were on a heater the last couple months, guys. Now, finally, we're getting a nice little pullback. Great time to go get DCA, for sure. If you were buying Solana at $200, that's expensive, but not when it's in 2025 in the summer time or the fall time 2025. Like This is gonna be a very expensive price uh, for Solana compared to right now, which is $136, so cheap. Like, Man, like you can get Casper right now for 11 cents. 
it's insane. You're gonna look back. I, I, I'm telling you this. You're gonna look back in 365, and you're this chart is gonna look like flat almost because it's gonna be so behind us and so small on the scale. It's insane. So just zoom out, take your emotions out of it. All right, deploy that capital, not financial advice, but into good projects. So you're gonna end up pretty good. Uh, and, and add some moon bags here and there, right? Not just the big caps, but add some little plays as well. Peter uh, said, uh, I'm accumulating AI tech, polytrade and SMT. Um, freaking OFN jumped up just now from 30 cents. Yeah, OFN, let's go check it out. So OFN, I have some uh, looking pretty good. Wow, 46% on the day right now. Beautiful little move for OFN. See, like the charts do this every single time, right? It consolidates all the way down and then whoop, all of a sudden a bunch of people that have a lot of money say, this is a good price point. I've waited for this exact moment right here. I'm jumping in. That's going to happen with a lot of these other cryptos as well, not just OFN, but OFN is a good little new, uh, kind of like layer one artificial intelligence pick. It's an, it's a hype narrative AI, but it's going to do very, very good this cycle because it's revolutionary technology and, you know, obviously cryptocurrency off of news events, it pumps off of, you know, let's say Nvidia does something in the, in the real world. That's really, really good. All those GPU D pin stuff, all that stuff is going to pump in cryptocurrency. All right. So narratives really do matter. Um, and if you see Bitcoin's all up in the news everywhere, you're most likely going to see scaling Bitcoin. You're going to see stacks start pumping. You're going to start seeing all these BRC twenties do really well. It's, it's a weird world, but that's also a good way to time the next narrative. What's the next narrative to pump? I saw somebody put a pull up. Um, I think it's a new member that put a pull up in our discord today. What's, what do you think is a new narrative to pump? Well, it was a really good poll. Um, and you know, you also put up a lot of good narratives up in there. So I'm not sure which one won or which one's in the lead right now, but that's in the members chat. So definitely go vote over there. Uh, I think it's a really good poll. And uh, it's about looking at where is the money going to flow into next and establishing some positions at a really low price that you could sell them at a higher price, right? So if you're looking at some, you know, kind of plays that have been pumping the last few months, you have real world assets, you have decentralized finance, and then you have artificial intelligence, right? All those three have been the hottest ones outside of the Solana ecosystem and the base ecosystem. Those are the three actual sectors that are doing really, really good. Missed based AI entry calls. I've been eyeballing it. What sold you on based AI? It's kind of like the same thing as, as BitTensor, right? So it's going to have all these subnets and, you know, just different fields of artificial intelligence building on it. So I just think that's a really good idea. I haven't seen too many good use cases for artificial intelligence in cryptocurrency. But again, the other thing with crypto, most of these tokens don't have that much utility. So seeing kind of like a layer one, like based AI, it's still a token at the moment but that's also a good narrative layer one. So you're going to have all that as well. So their main net is going to be launching. I believe, I believe it's in three or four weeks right now. So it's going to be very, very soon. I'm expecting a good run up with based AI and Pepe coin, right? Is the one that you stake to get based AI. So it's a double play, right? If you go get Pepe coin, it's also very cheap right now. So if based AI even accomplishes maybe a quarter of what Tau is, you're looking at a lot of X's. Okay. And then if Tau goes to like a 60, 80, $100 billion market cap, base AI could easily go to, you know, 10 to $30 billion market cap. And that would essentially put one base AI at a thousand bucks. If it went to that, you're getting it at $6 right now. It's going to be insane because people were buying bit tensor at like $30, $40, right? Pepe coin right now is coming in at 477. This is a 133 million maximum supply. It's a meme coin with utility. The other Pepe doesn't have that much utility. Uh, it actually has zero utility. It's just an ERC 20. This is also an ERC 20, but you stake it to earn based AI. You don't stake the other Pepe coin it just sits there. It doesn't do anything. So, um, and also that team that's developing both of these projects is developing other tools in web three. You have bots, telegram bots, things like that. The Pepe coin is going to be kind of like the central, um, the central kind of entity that's going to allow you to have, you know, abilities to use these other tools, right? So really bullish on this coin and the base AI coin They're a, They go hand in hand. So if you were to think like, okay, well, which one do I go get? 
I would do like a half and half kind of thing. Half and half. Bought the dip on Velodrome. Nice, nice. And make sure, guys, it's not the uh, the other Velo because there's two Velos, uh, which it's weird because this Velo right here is also doing really good lately. It's actually a really bullish chart. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of people as well thought that this was the Velodrome. This is not Velodrome, guys. The other one is Velodrome. It's on a big discount right now. Beautiful discount, 18 cents. Um, this is a really good time to get into it. I've been DCing into it quite a bit lately, as you guys know. Very bullish on Arrow and Velo. They go hand in hand. They're the top decks on both chains, Optimism and Base. I think this is a good point. 289 million FDV. You know, are you if you're not gonna bite right now, you know, it's like that meme, right? It's like, do you buy the dip or do you wait for more dip? Well, the thing is, is when you separate your emotions from it, right? Um, let me just show you this. Oh yeah, also this is pretty funny, right? The handsome Squidward is so funny. Spending a thousand bucks on a base salon, I mean, corner spending a thousand dollars on a rent. Unfortunately, the rent has to come first and then you do the other one. But this is the, the one, right? Buy the dip or wait for it to dip more. You know, the thing is, is when you have a DCA strategy, you don't even need to think about this. You just, you just DCA on every single dip. That's the thing, right? And you have an income coming in, beautiful. You're working your ass off, you can DCA, you can afford to do it, right? So I also understand that a lot of people, they don't have, uh, you know, they only have um, new, new dry powder coming in every two weeks, right? Two weeks or four weeks or every week. Something people get paid every single week, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, wait for the next paycheck. And then that's it. You don't need to be like, no, don't leave without me. You know, like, like looking at the chart and the green candles are trying to go up without you. There's always going to be another dip coming. So um, eventually it's going to bottom out. And that's, you know, but the bottom was in, right? That was December 2022. That was when Bitcoin was fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000. It's never going back down lower. All right. Your entry point for some of these altcoins too that we got into, like Alex Lab, for example, we're never, ever, ever going to see that, that entry point for Alex ever again. It's at 33 cents right now. We got in at six cents in November. We're never gonna see that again, all right? It would shock the living crap out of me if we saw it and I would buy it up immediately, but we're not gonna see it. Um, and also for a lot of these other ones, but for Velodrome, for example, still early. A lot of these ones are very, very early. And even Alex is early too, right? I think Alex is gonna go to you know $15, maybe 12, 12 to $15 this cycle. Um, okay, let me go back to the chat over here. Oh my gosh. I clicked X on it. Um, oh man, I, I'm, oh man I, I clicked X on my chat. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm going to have to read them now. Okay, Silver said, just got back from the gym myself. First leg day in a few weeks after a couple weeks uh, vacation. <laughs> Jello legs. Nice. Yeah, it always feels like that, man. It really does. Good, to, good to have you back in the in the cord, bro. Uh, man, we missed you up in there. You're super active and like you help a bunch of members out. So, I definitely speak for everybody in there. We, we really do appreciate having you as a as a member. And also, um, there's a passive income opportunity. I just want to say this to the lifetime members. You guys know this. There's a passive income opportunity for lifetime members. All right. Uh, definitely go check that new channel out. All right. Um, and, uh, and yeah, basically, and I'm not going to like talk about it or anything like that. It's only for lifetime members because well, you guys committed yourselves forever. Right. So it's like the least we could do is like, okay, let's try to like, not only like with the plays and stuff like that, but let's also like see if there's like an easy way to like give money back or something like, so. I'm, I'm going to be texting you guys tonight about, uh, about that opportunity. And, um, well, you guys already signed up for it essentially. So I'm going to send you guys that link, your links, I should say. Um, okay. And, uh, and yeah, it's only for lifetime members. Uh, Where is it? Patience is key. Yes, absolutely. 100%. How long have you been in crypto arc? Six years. 
six years. It's been, um, it's been a while. It's been a long time. So I went into my first cycle with $15,000. It's crazy. And, um, you know, now I am up a lot more than that, but it took a long time, right? It's not like overnight guys. It's not going to happen in your first month. You have to work at it. And, um, you know, so I didn't expect my first cycle to be like, Oh, I'm going to create generational wealth. No, I thought if I can do a 10 X with this, this is going to be good. Right? So I came out of the first cycle. I learned a lot of different mistakes. I learned basically the ins and outs of the industry. And then eventually I was like, let's help other people succeed as well. And also the next cycle that I go into, not only do I want to just 10 X, but I want to try to create generational wealth in the next one. So again, people that are, that have been in cryptocurrency since, you know, the inception of Bitcoin, some of them held all throughout this entire process. Some of them, they timed the tops and they timed the bottoms, um, like they dollar cost average in and out. And honestly, the best thing to do if you can, and if you do it properly is to time the tops and the bottoms. It's not just to hodl because you could get out the top, get all your capital out, reaccumulate in the next bear market at these really, really bad lows and then do the same thing, rinse and repeat because crypto is on a set schedule because of the having, all right? So it's, it's almost like kind of like a simulation, but it's, it, this is the real, the reality of the thing, but the majority of people don't know this, the majority of investors and other people outside of cryptocurrency, they have no idea there's a four year cycle. Um, but we do though, we, we know what the, what the secret is. So we're going to be, uh, doing pretty good next year. Like we're doing really good this year, but next year though, I cannot wait to see everybody like, okay, like don't go out and buy a Lambo if you have 500 K. All right. Like that, that'd be like, you know, three fifths of your money, get the Lambo if you have a few million dollars. All right. But like, you know, definitely just make sure that you're taking care of all the bills first and you know, get, get the house and everything like that. But I cannot wait to see people really change their lives. Like it's, it's soon. It's very, very, very soon. Some people as well have already changed their lives. Like, um, it was, uh, where was your comment? Who made $500,000 right here? Uh, Earl, Earl made $500,000. Like that is so, so sick, man. That is so cool. Um, and it's like, it'll happen to a lot more people, right? So it's really exciting. Um, you know, definitely when you surround yourself with winners, you're going to start winning. When you surround yourself with losers, probably going to be the average of that, right? When you, when you get into a wolf pack, you're no longer a lone wolf hunting by yourself. Okay. It's going to be a lot easier to hunt. And I'm using that analogy. That is the exact same thing that happens out in the wild. Once you get out of the group or, or you're never part of a group, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle a lot. Um, and that's just the reality. We all know this. That's nature. Okay, wait, my, why is my chat not working here? Okay, let me, let me go, um, let me go over here. Let me go get the, uh, the chat again. Cause I want to, I want to start pinning my chats now. Okay. We're, we're going to refresh here and then, um, I'm going to pin these up, but that's, that's the reality, right? If you're, I wish I had a group like ours last cycle because I wouldn't have been a lone wolf, which I was. And um, I would have honestly had so many more plays because it's not just me doing the plays, right? I have my own section in there, but it's not just me. <sighs> like you have 600 people that are researching on a daily basis that are getting better and better and better at researching. So it's, it's like a, an organism that just keeps evolving. So it's just, it's really, really cool. Um, okay. I want to do the chat right here. There we go. Finally. All right, I'm gonna let that chat load a little bit because I, I can't pin anybody's right now, but okay, where well, I'm just gonna keep reading them right here. Uh, Davey Park said, dominate that like, y'all. Uh, absolutely, cheers, Ark, slinging some pies. Let's go, man. Tell me which kind of pizza you like. Definitely, good to see you, brother. Six years, nice. What coin was your biggest success? Honestly, my biggest success last cycle was Anchor. I made a lot of money off of Anchor. Um, but I also just made a lot of money with things like Dogecoin, Ethereum, things like that, Cardano. Um, I was even in the Hex community a little bit, which is 
a little bit embarrassing to say that, but I bounced around different communities in the past where I used to not be a maximalist, but I used to be really heavily involved in certain crypto communities where I would say the only one that I'm heavily involved with this cycle is Caspa. That's the only one that I'm like, okay, this community is worth it because first off, it's a completely different revolutionary technology than everything else out there. Whereas the other ones last cycle, they were just, they had like a lot of people talking about them, but they weren't really like first ever of their kinds, right? They were just another light, layer one proof of stake blockchain um, or another mean coin, for example. But yeah, there was, um, you know, there, there was some, there were some cool people in those communities. But the thing is, I was like, they're too, they had the blinders on, right? As a horse, you only see what's in front of you and you don't look at the other things out there. And even as, as a Caspian, I'm not a maxi either. Like I look at everything else on the market. I have a ton of cryptocurrencies in my portfolio. I'm not just in one. I think that that's, you're, you're isolating yourself and you're, you're limiting your gains so much because if you were in Caspa and you were a maximalist, you would have missed out on Aerodrome on, you know, that, you know, like so, so, so many, like that two X on our trade, that six X on Tuker, you, you wouldn't have missed out on so much things recently, you know, what, what are we up on Alex? Like we're up like five X on Alex right now. It's insane. I even bounced around NFT communities last cycle. So I really did like the whole shebang in crypto, right? Until I was like, that. this is all just, it doesn't make sense to, to be in one cryptocurrency. It, it makes sense to have a broad horizon and see what else is out there. And I, I like to use this analogy too, is if you're at a buffet, and you paid your entry fee to go to the buffet. Why are you only eating pizza? If you have all this other stuff right there, why are you there? Just go to Pizza Hut or, you know, whatever you guys get it. Like, um, so yeah. But, you know, this cycle though, before even the bull run, like, you know, I, I've made way more gains with just from the ones that we got into from October to here than I did all of last cycle. Like it's not even comparable. So, um, yeah, but that's because I put in the work every single day, right? I put in the research at like literally day and night. Sometimes I, I sometimes I work until 7 a.m. I'll work all night. And then sometimes I'll just take some naps during the day. You know, in cryptocurrency, the thing is, is I don't have a schedule and I'm not telling you guys to do this. I, I actually really don't recommend doing it. But instead of a Monday to Friday kind of work schedule, nine to five, crypto 24, seven, 365, you can kind of pick whenever you want to work, right? Whenever you want to research coins, that's when you research, right? Um, so after all the life stuff's done, you know, after I handle all that stuff, then it's like, okay, let's, let's dedicate like, you know, four or five hours today into gem hunting. Let's also do some more research on the ones that we're in. Um, let's also look at other opportunities on, on better in the community and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's everywhere, but, um, yeah, the, the next few, the, the, the next, uh, the next few plays I want to concentrate on DeFi, RWA and AI. Those are the ones that I'm really looking into right now, but I also have my hand and, and my research hours going into some other ones too. But, you know, if you spread yourself too thinly, like then it's, it's, you know, you're, you're more scarce, right? So having an entire community also be researching everything at the same time is just like expediting the process. So it's, it's just really fantastic. And then we have people in Australia, we have people in Europe all around the world. It's, it's like so cool. So, uh, let me go check out the chats right here. Why is my, my thing not loading? Can't I pin this stuff? I want to. I want to pin your chats. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm just gonna try to pin this stuff. <laughs> of course it. Oh my gosh, this, this um this streaming software is so complicated. I'll tell you. Okay. All right. Pop out the chat. Sorry, I have to like say this out loud because it's like, it's ridiculous. Um, it's hard to do both at the same time, you know, like I don't have somebody that can like pin them up. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to wait for them to load again. Okay, I see the super chats. So let's read these super chats right here. Um, 
Oh, wow. Nice. Thank you, Mark. Just like a $10 donation. Thank you, bro. I want to pin it, but I, I'm not able to pin it. Um, but thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it. 100%, bro. I'm not sure if you were meant to do a chat. If you did, I'll, I'll read. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, I, I do see your chat. What categories would you say have exploded first at the start of last bull run? Was it layer ones first, then DEXs? Like uni uh, for liquidity pools, then gaming and memes to end? Or was it all over the place? So Cardano's top was in September. Um, ETH, Bitcoin, November. DeFi was uh, July. And then you had a few other ones like Oracles that were in uh, the springtime. And then you had a few different kinds of meme seasons here and there, kind of like the same thing as this time around, except like we're not the tops yet. So we can't like go back in hindsight and say, oh, that was the, the decentralized science top or that was the RWA top. We're not in the bull run yet, right? We're in the market phase. We're at the beginning stage of the market phase. We're so early guys, it's insane. Um, but yeah, so those were the big ones that I was concentrating. I had a lot of chain link last, last cycle as well, come to think of it. That was another big play. And I also still have a lot of chain link. I think it's a really good uh, safe hedge right now. You need to have hedges in your portfolio. You can't just be like all risky because if it doesn't pan out, you're, you're in trouble. Um, but I remember the, de the decentralized finance summer was a huge thing. Like that was just super, super bullish. You had your finance reach $80,000 or something like that. It was just insane. So um, yeah, so this cycle, you know, I can't, I can't tell you this is going to pump first or that it's just kind of like in the moment it's going to happen. And you're going to see kind of like what, what happened with RWA last month, all the RWAs are pumping, but there's going to be another round for it even harder though. Like in the next year, like it's going to, it's going to be face melting gains. Um, but great question, Mark. Thank you for the donation, bro. Uh, yeah, I can't tell you like this is going to pump first and that one, like no one knows. Right. So, uh, but what I can tell you is try to get into the narratives that haven't pumped yet, that also have a lot of utility. Those ones are going to do well. Um, so like I'm looking at one other one right now that I think is kind of decent, but it's not great, but it's cybersecurity. A lot of this stuff in cybersecurity is, is going to do uh, pretty good this cycle, I, I think, because uh, it's needed. It's needed in this space, right? And you have different ones up here that are doing decent right so uh i'm looking at x money you know i'm looking at a few other ones i'm just i'm researching them you know and you guys know on the watch list i put x money i put a couple other ones i'm not saying go out and buy this always do your own due diligence but it's not a deep narrative so the ones that that win out they're gonna win pretty hard uh if they dominate their their niche forta i had gotten into and then i had gotten out so a couple of these. I'm looking at hacking, but it's not a strong narrative, right? I like deep in. I like, um, you know, decentralized physical infrastructure. I like that one. I like artificial intelligence and real world assets are, are really, really good. I think they're going to pump all along. And then obviously the emerging ecosystems. I made countless videos on the channel telling you guys, look at the emerging ecosystems. Look at base, look at Solana. Um, Solana is not even emerging. It is here. Solana has hit the scene. It's huge. It's always trending up here. It's always one of the top four. I would go down the list and then just look at smaller little market caps that haven't pumped up yet. I would also go check out DeFi Llama, see what's in the decentralized finance part of Solana. If, if something looks like it's, it's catching up a lot, like look at this Sanctum right here up 346%. And then you also have Ondo. You have a few of these that are coming up. You have Parcel as well. Parcel's looking pretty good uh even though it's it's kind of losing ground right now a lot of the things in solana are losing ground so it might be a good time to maybe look at uh at some of these solana plays also you have the blast ecosystem right here i think some of these blast tokens are going to do pretty good um not financial advice but some of these on this list look decent in my opinion and then you have base base is the one that i love the most i really do it's coinbase guys uh wow Oh my gosh, Arrow's at 700 million TVL now. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's over two times as big as Uniswap. Insane. And then you have extra finance. So some really good ones that are coming up. Uh, and then you have 
a few other narratives as well that are that are doing pretty good if i go cryptocurrencies categories right here uh so yeah you got base beautiful uh i think marketplaces are gonna have another run so if we go marketplaces over here uh just eyeballing it right now i like uh the lime wire one i'm not sure if it's in this tag there's a few different marketplaces you have art trade uh, they're going to be needed because we're going towards a more digital society, not less. So people are going to go back in that niche. Uh, gaming obviously is going to be big, but gaming has been really bad lately. It's been really, really bad. So again, look at things that have actual real world utility for sure. Scaling and, uh, liquid, liquid staking as well. Another big one, liquid staking, uh, don't have really anything other than lido in my portfolio for liquid staking but um it's i think it's gonna make another big run from your experience is it possible to have profit from bear market or it's like two years super dry so this is this is the thing right in the bear market is a great question in the bear market the worst time to invest in is like right after the top and like for the next like six months after that once it's kind of like bottoming out and usually it takes about a year but you can start finding some ones that are like they bottom out quickly because when bitcoin starts slowly like you know just um in bleeding all the way down right to the bottom the altcoins bleed way faster so they they kind of hit their bottoms even faster than bitcoin does and some of these ones you can really get pretty early into the bear market and really good price points. But again, the typical rule of thumb is to wait one year after the blow off top to start scaling in because really there's no rush, right? There's absolutely no rush, but yes, it's very possible to make a lot of money in the bear market. Last cycle, this past cycle, I made a ton of money in the bear market because I was dollar cost averaging in it, making a ton of money, meaning getting into these entry points very low. And then all of a sudden you find yourself up in, in a year or two because you got into all these like injective, right? I was getting in at, you know, $2 essentially stacks. I was getting in very early too. Um, some of these massive market cap plays and now they're all like, they're, they're up so, so, so many X's injective and Caspa for myself last year were on my best cryptocurrencies. So, um, that's when you can make money in the bear market is really just by getting in very, very low. Um, so, but I would wait for the dust to clear for a few months until like you start scaling back into the, to the bear market, but that's the best time to buy it. Really? Like that, that's really the time to get it. Uh, I skipped some of these two super chat here. So I'm just going to go, oh man, I, okay. Yeah, there it is. Chirp. Love your content. Always listen to it on the, my way to work. Uh, how, and when do you plan on taking profits from cast? Cheers from Nicaragua. Nice. Uh, I didn't know that was that. I can't pin it, but uh, I didn't know that that was a flag for that country. That's, that's a nice little flag. Um, listen, so for Caspa, for example, uh, you know, I have a lot of Caspa from one penny and I have a lot of Caspa from two, three pennies, four pennies. So when it goes to 50 cents, I'm going to look at taking out my initial investment and then I'm going to start scaling out of Caspa near a dollar. Uh, I'm not going to wait three to five dollars, even though I think my price prediction is pretty realistic. You know, two, three, four, five dollars, even five dollars is harder to see than two, obviously. But I'm going to save some cash for those price points, because why not? Right. Like that would be a lot of X's. And I think it's pretty realistic with a twenty point seven billion maximum supply, judging that this cycle is going to be bigger than the last one, obviously. And it's a layer one block tag. Pretty sure Caspa can reach those heights. It's just going to take a little bit more time for Caspa to start pumping a lot. We need those tier one exchange listings as well. Um, and I would love to see at least one tier one exchange listing in the next 90 days. I would absolutely love that. I think everybody here would too, right? Um, but it depends, right? It depends. Like, because Caspa could easily pump to a dollar, you know, end of November, December, right? And Bitcoin's not even at, you know, $150,000 yet because Caspa kind of moves by itself, right? So, if Caspa gets that point, you'll see some sell alerts for Caspa uh, in the Discord for sure. And I'll let you guys know on YouTube as well. I'll let you guys know like when I'm scaling out, uh, like just a little bit later than the Discord because the Discord's right away, sell buy alerts right away. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the chat 
when you guys are scaling out of cast because I think that that's interesting. Um, yeah, my chat is not working. So I'm just going to read them off, off of here. But yeah, so so basically, yeah, Casper right now coming in at uh, 1178. It's pretty good. And um, I've said this multiple times. I've said this multiple times and uh, I'm never going to buy Casper again. I am done buying Casper. All right. This is the official announcement right now. I'm not buying Casper anymore. I've I, that was that last DCA alert. That was my last DCA. Now, are you able to buy Casper? For sure. You don't have to be a copycat of me and do everything the same thing. I, the last thing I want is sheep. I don't want people to just copycat everything that I do. It should be a reference, right? It should be an idea of something that maybe you want to do as well. Like it, it doesn't have to be the, the, the law. All right. I'm not a perfect investor. Nobody is. All right. You need to learn how to research by yourself as well and not be relying on everybody uh, or on, on a certain person. Right. When you purchase the community and you get in, you're purchasing the community and the buys and sells are one of the things that come with it, obviously, but you're, you're getting into an alpha community and you're going to learn a lot. Just ask anybody that's been in there. A lot of people are becoming absolute assassins. So really good stuff. But yeah, obviously you get my alerts, but don't be like a sheep and then just copy me, like do everything that I do. All right. Like make sure that you also just check the, the projects out for yourself first. All right. Okay, so I, I still can't pin my my uh, my chats here. This is so weird. Um, all right. Uh, Harmony said, "Me, L, me too. Daddy is on hospice, and they they have needs. I'm praying enough uh, to get them a tiny house with a bathtub they can get in without falling off. Well, I I hope that uh, you know they get well and." that they that they do good i can't pin your chat up but um i hope that uh they do good that they get well um yeah tiny houses are interesting they're they're interesting i don't want one. i want to i want a mansion guys i don't want to but you know it is what it is i i like the look of them though they're, they're cool um that's really nice of you alex said on tangent wallet uh I think your picks with Aero, Velo, PNG, Suku, LCX all going to outperform 90% of the top 100 altcoins. Only six out of the top 50 are currently outperforming BTC. Yeah, I mean, like PNG, Suku, LCX are John's picks. Uh, Aero and Velo, I don't, he doesn't have Velo, I don't think, but um, I think he likes Velo. And then uh, Aerodrome and Velo, uh, I, I have. So, yeah. I, but I like those three as well, though. I, I do like them. Uh, that's... Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, smash those likes, guys. Smash the like. Hey, Kamal, good to see you. I can't paint your chat, but it is what it is. White man here. I need to change my YouTube profile name and pick so you can recognize me all. Absolutely, dude. I, I I can't memorize everyone's usernames, guys. It's a username. I I, I can't like change the pick. It changed the uh, thing to match the Discord, and I know immediately it's you. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, patience. Absolutely, you gotta have patience. One hundred percent. Yeah, you're gonna make millions. Uh, chirp, thank you. 25% out at 65 cents. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Drop when you guys are going to start dollar cost averaging out of Caspa. Definitely let me know. Velo price prediction this cycle. A really good. Okay. There we go. Finally, finally they pop up. Um, okay. Yeah. Velo drum. Let's go check it out. So Velodrome right here, I think it could easily reach $5 this cycle, 100%, very, very easily. Why? Because Velo has 1.5 billion maximum supply. Nothing will be minted beyond that. Small market cap, top decks on optimism. 
Optimism is an emerging ecosystem. It has Coinbase, it has OKX. It checks so many boxes, guys. Uh, Worldcoin is also on Optimism. That's a really big project. Like, there's a lot of things growing on Optimism. It's an emerging ecosystem. It hasn't been through a bull run yet. There's a lot of VCs behind it. So I think that Velodrome has a lot of potential to reach the dollars range. I'm not gonna go out and say $10, I think, because a lot of the the wealth is gonna be distributed, right? Throughout a lot of DEXs, a lot of altcoins. But if Optimism can remain the top decentralized exchange on Optimism, I think that two to five dollars for Optimism is really realistic. And getting in at 18 cents, you put in, I'm not saying do this, okay? But let's say you put in fifty thousand dollars, okay, or ten thousand dollars. You actually put some skin in the game with Optim with with, with Velo. It pumps up to two dollars. You're in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like you're doing, you're doing pretty good. So um, again, there's always risk though. But if you would have done that with Aerodrome at twenty cents or forty cents, even you you do pretty good right now, right? So I think Velo. It's just a matter of time until it follows. It's the brother of Aero. I used to say the sister, but they're just you know, I, I don't know which one's the sister, which one's the brother, like, um, <laughs> I don't know. but yeah, I mean, like probably arrows, the brother and then, uh, and then Velo. I, I have no idea. I'm just kidding. But, uh, I, I love both, both picks. I, I dollar cost average into both of them. Mitza, uh, or Supreme, no black olives. And yes, it's Ryan. Yeah. Change my username. Cass, I C N X. Okay. There's a bunch of picks there. Wow. Bowden. Nice. And, and uh, you got Brickin, nice, BKN. Velo or Aero? Both, both, man. But the thing is, though, is Velo is so much smaller than Aero, right? If you look at uh, Aero's market cap, 1.4 billion, uh, billion FTV, and then you look at Velo, it's not even close. 288 million. So if you're looking at Xs, like this one, but the chain, though, Coinbase owns base. So... You know, I'm more bullish on base than optimism, of course. And I think most people are as well, but Velo has a lot of room to run in front of it. It really, really does. It has 27,000 holders right now. And I think it's just gonna keep, uh, it's gonna keep appreciating. It's also got all the exchange listings too, just like Arrow. Arrow way better than Velo though. Technically, like if you're looking at market caps, it's better for sure. But if you're looking at multipliers, I'm not so sure about that, right? Like, because Velo, if it pumps to $5, Arrow's done a lot of pumping already. So you have to look at where you're getting into. I don't know. I don't have a super price prediction. Sin Diesel, have you? Uh, no, I'm not sure what Halvin is. It's like a having, having meme coin. Interesting. I like how Forda is backed by Coinbase. Forda has an investment from Coinbase. You're right. Um, it's 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 decent. You know, I believe I believe it was twenty million dollars their investment into it. I just want to see though. Um, if I go with okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just guess right here if I'm right. So let's go. Let's go to Forta. This is all the Coinbase Ventures investments right here. Let's see how good my memory is, is with uh, Forta. Is it $20 million? $23 million. Okay, I was pretty close. I was 3 million off. That's not that bad though. I thought it was around that ballpark. That's pretty good though. That, that's that's very good. So, oh wait, you guys can't see. So yeah, Forta right here, $23 million seed. They invested that on September 30th, 2021. It's pretty good. Fiat Wars. Hey, bro. Uh, 4.8 million cast, but too much to hold. Should I diversify some thoughts? It depends, brother. It depends on how big your portfolio is on the side. Like how many other plays? Let me know in the chat right now. I'll answer you, but I'll answer you with what I would do. Um, but it depends on like how much you have in other plays, right? Because you could have 4.8 million and be a really good shark. And then you could also have a ton of other plays. So it's like, why, why would you have to consolidate? Um, but you know, let me know in the chat, like what's the rest of your plays looking like? Are you only, if you're only in Caspa, I would diversify. Thank you, bro. 
Uh, we have an awesome community. Like and subscribe. Absolutely. It's the best in all cryptocurrencies, hands down. Uh, I don't think I missed your super chat. Hold on a second. I don't think so. Chirp. Love your... Yeah, no, I, I read it. Uh, $5 super chat. I might have missed... I might have missed another one if I if I did. Why can't it let me scroll up? Ah. If it is, I'll, I'll, I'll try to read it next stream. Uh, let me know if I missed it. I read the Nicaragua one. Oh no, I just got into Forta. Why, oh no. When would we begin taking profits? 5X, 10X? It depends on the play, Harmony. So really good question here on a mean coin. I always take it, take my initial out at a, um, at a 2X. With things like art trade, small market gap plays, I always wait for like a three, five X, you know, typically. Um, and then with bigger market caps, I'm gonna be waiting for Bitcoin to go into the hundreds of thousands of dollars to really start aggressively DCAing out, right? I'm gonna wait for Bitcoin to appreciate to lift the rest of the, the, the tide with it. And then I'm gonna start pulling some profits off the top, right? That's what I'm gonna be doing. So it's a pretty sound strategy, I'll tell you that. Uh, Grim Wave with Ruins releasing, I think BRC20s uh, will run soon. Yeah, it is going to have a good run. But also Harmony, I just want to pin this up again. Um, when you are up 5 or 10x, consider taking some profits with some risky coins. Don't hodl your bag. Don't round trip it, right? If you guys know what a round trip is, you get in, it pumps up all the way, and then you don't sell at all because you think it's going to keep going up. The greed overtakes you, and then it comes all the way back down to your initial. It's like don't do that. Take your initial out when you're at least, you know, up in profit and even some on top so that you can make sure you just printed a W. You just got some money out of the market. Unless it's a play where you take out your initial and you still want exposure to that token, where you still want to hold that token for the bull run. Then you keep everything in after your initials out, right? That's what I do with these meme coins, all right? But again, if I take out my initial, some people do this in the Discord. They wait even longer. And sometimes they get even a better price to take out their initial because then they have more left over, right? But it's all personal decisions. I have to be a little bit more responsible, even though I don't have any, you know, responsibility on any of you guys. You guys have to do press buy and sell for yourself. I'm also still thinking, like, you know, I'm still thinking, is this a good entry point, right? Is this a good exit point, right? Uh, Alex, uh, is Tangem safe to hold Cass? Thank you for what you do, brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, Tangem is awesome. Tangem is really good, guys. 100%. Right there. I got my Tangem card looking pretty good. Right there. Um, it's a good It's a good thing. I will say this, though. Uh, the majority of my Cass was on one key, right? I actually like the one key a little bit more. Do I have it here? No, I don't on the counter um so you know I, I hold most of my crypto in one key it's it's a lot better because you can add custom networks instead of tangent where you have to wait for them to add them yourself you could add the network if it's an evm network i don't really have thoughts on alien base it's a super small market cap play you know it's uh it's on base it's a dex second let me go there we go up 50 percent on the day wow really really good 510 million max supply 14 million dollar fdv beautiful markets coming in at uh aerodrome rye finance sushi and uniswap how long has it been out? Brand new. I don't think it's I don't think it's that young though. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let, let me let me go over Coin Gecko here. Alien base. Coin market cap only lit only starts the chart once it's listed on Coin Market Cap. It doesn't list the, the history before that. Okay, so yeah, it came out in August, gotcha. So it came out in August right here. 
all time high was six cents, seven cents essentially, almost. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it looks like a good entry point right now. Um, now the platform. So let me go check it out. I don't believe their team is Docs, but most DEXs are not. Nice little website right here. You got some liquidity pools right there. Nice. Um, transparency with the tokenomics. Nice. And you have some good uh, partners here. I'm looking at Overnight as well. Overnight looks decent, just by the way. Um, get started. Nice DEX. Looks good. You know, like for a DEX right here with half half a billion max maximum supply, bullish. Very good. Small little uh, market cap too. Like this is early. So um, I just want to check as well. So only 3,000 followers on X and they've been out for a year. So maybe they weren't active as much. But it also doesn't look like they have a lot of funding behind it. But I want to see as well base... Um, where does alien base come in right here? So it's very, very small, right? Uh, you only have like $2 million of TVL on alien base, but it's starting to go up a little bit more here. I'm not sure if they had, did they have a hack or something that happened? I'm not that some, something's a little bit weird here. See like the token price is starting to go up without the TVL. So it's a little, it's like front running. Maybe like people know something, right? Or they just think it's part of the base hype that's going on right now. They're just picking up a bunch of things on base, but the platform itself looks good. It really does. Um, I'm impressed with, with it. You know, it's a very small little, uh, little play right now. I like Moonwell and I like Aerodrome and I'm looking at extra finance as well for another, you know, kind of like leverage farming play right here. And I'm looking at overnight finance. Overnight looks like it's decent. Yeah. So yeah, definitely check it out. Yeah, the, the token looks really bullish. Max, good to see you, brother. Make sure to keep an eye on that new gem uh, that launched last weekend. Trio uh, chart just came in. Coin Gecko yesterday, huge potential on that one. Hold on a second. Uh, make sure to keep an eye on that new gem that launched last weekend, Trio or Nova Bot. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out right now. Coin Gecko. Good, uh, good to see you, man. Also, another really active member. Also, guys, if you're in our Discord community, you know that there is a competition going on. People that are active that are helping people, they earn points automatically, the levels, and um, and uh, there's going to be giveaways for that. And the first one is this week. He said ordinals bot. Okay, no, it's trio, trio you said. There we go, on ordinals. Looks good, nice chart. Uh, how old is it? Okay, yeah, it's been out this month, brand new, 21 million max, nice. I'll we'll have to check it out. Looks like they're, uh, yeah, they're not docs, so we have to check this out a little bit more. What do you think of the new ASI coin? Fetch, single internet, and ocean protocol. I think that the merge is, is going to be pretty bullish, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm not very, I, I'm not really bullish on those AI projects. I think they're all very overrated. Um, but yeah, once this launches, I think that it's going to be pretty bullish though. 10 million max supply as well. I think, is it this one though? Hold on a second. ASI for sure. Cause that, yeah, it didn't launch yet. Looking pretty good. Um, yeah, so I think, hold on a second, I lose my chat. So yeah, so what I would say is this guys, you know, if you're, if you're dollar cost averaging, you're going to remove your emotions from things and it's gonna be so much better to sleep at night knowing that, okay, you don't have to really worry about things until 2025, right? Then you can start really, I would say come up with the plan now, right? But you're still in accumulation right now. It, it, there's still so many different projects that are coming out that you can get your hands on at pretty cheap levels. 
and you know just sleep on it wait 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 a few months for the market to appreciate i'm pretty sure it's not going to take that much longer for bitcoin to go back up to seventy thousand. so these dips when they come around take advantage because we are in the beginning stages of the big bull run here very very beginning stages like this is clearly we're clearly in the bull run all right like I always say this, we've been in the bull run since December, 2022, because it's been price appreciation up into the right. That's bullish. That's the, that's more bulls outweighing the bears. Okay. So again, but there's little dips here and there, right? There's, there's tiny little pullbacks in the massive chart. It seems like a big pullback in the short term, but when you zoom out, this is a big pullback right here, right? This is a really large pull 63,000. And then it went all the way down to 31,000. People thought that was the bear market, right? We are not even close to that point. We are in the markup phase going all the way up. So again, take your time desaying into things. Don't feel FOMO. Don't compare yourself to other people out there. There's always going to be people that have more money than you. Focus on what you can control, all right? Not some global FUD going on. Stack sats stack cash but stack all these good ones that are out there you're gonna you're gonna be fine you're gonna end up okay and join our community if you haven't already if you don't want to go through this entire cycle by yourself all right definitely join the alpha community i appreciate you all for watching i'm gonna wrap it up right there um and yeah guys i'll see you guys up in the next live stream and in the next video smash the like and subscribe to the channel as well you don't want to miss the next one i don't go live every single day have the have a blessed night archetype out peace Thank you.